Now we have our sounds that we put into button one and two also now recorded into the machine's memory. You may ask what happens, even if you've only worked on two, what happens to the rest of the preset buttons. They still overwrite with exactly the same as what they had on them before we started. In other words, what sits in A, B, C and D is recorded within your save. The only things that will alter are the actual presets that you've edited to your own liking. Our last video showed you how you can now put your own personal presets into the machine's hard drive. You notice as I'm talking to you at the moment, the RS1000 is powering up. The machine is actually taking in what's in its memory and it's getting this ready for me to play. And there she is. So, as per every time you switch on the machine, the, back, the machine bank here automatically defaults to bank A and our preset registrations in bank A. But I don't want to use those now. I want to go back to the file that we created and I want to work on it further. This time I go back to the left hand side underneath the tempo button but now I'm looking for the load button that I wish to load in our file that we've been working on. Simply touch the button and in the screen here it gives me a table that shows me all the files that's in this machine. If I look at the bottom, our one that generically got called reg000 reg is there. I simply turn the wheel down until I highlight the one we're looking for. I simply push load the machine asks me, are you sure? Confirm. And I push the confirm. That's it. Our sounds, the pan pipes, the guitar, and anything else that we've worked on is now back in the machine's memory. We can now add to this simply by, when you, if you say we've done another four presets that you've worked on today, and you want to add those to that file, Let's say we've now built another four of our own personal sounds into three, four, five and six. And we wish to add those to the file that we've just recalled. It's very easy to do. Just go back here underneath the tempo button to the record button. Push. Once again, record reg file, which is what we want. We're recording onto our registration file. Next step. This is where we need to point out two very important buttons and the one on the left will be the A, the right will be the E. Save Now sits on the left. Save New sits on the right. Because we're adding to our existing file, we need to push Save Now. Save new would overwrite the whole lot again. So when you're adding to, we must always remember to push save now. Save now, simple as that. The machine returns to the, to the window and that's it. Files updated.